Yeah, my DPM is apparently broken. Okay, someone pulled. Good. Uh, someone just pulled without a pull timer, though, is what that looked like to me. <laughs> All right, we burst down the doom fire. Basically, is how this uh, how this fight works. So it's that each time he's gonna summon up a doom fire. It's this powerful thing. It spits out a ton of flame everywhere, and it needs to be destroyed immediately, or this entire arena is covered in fire. Um, meanwhile, the other tank then has to taunt. That did not occur. So like taunt on marks. <laughs> Uh, we then have used Allure of Flames. He's supposed to move. The other tank is usually the one who is pulling him. However, the other tank has no idea what he's doing, which is why I am now pulling him across the arena. The fight then resets at this point. So now he's going to throw it another uh, Mark of Doom or whatever. There's there's the spear, by the way. That also happens during phase one. So here's Doomfire. We destroy the Doomfire. He's then going to throw out another Mark. Um, I then have... We then... Uh, 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 survive through the mark. It's a tank mechanic mostly. And this is how it works as a tank. So he's now doomed marked me. He's supposed to taunt. He is not taunting. Please taunt tank. LOL is what we're typing in chat. That's crucial when you're in this situation, mind you. Crucial to do the LOL. It lets people know that that you're not being a jerk. You're just you're just really trying to inform them. And then you seem more lighthearted and fun and friendly. Now, meanwhile, because of the way the Doomfire ended up, we had to walk straight through the fire. That was an enjoyable little quirk. Um, we are working on here again. We're going to have another Doomfire come up. Here we go. Doomfire is up. We then burst down the Doomfire. The Doomfire is now going in the wrong direction. Usually, melee DPS is not standing over there, which allows for Doomfire to be attacked by the tanks. However, this time they are. This is a slightly sloppy kill, but um, I think it's going to be a kill regardless, actually. So, we've just had the Do Mark of Doom come out. I've taunted correctly and immediately. He should have Allure of Flames soon. Here it is, Allure of Flames. We now move him across the arena to the other side. These barriers are about to go down. He has, um, yep, that's, that's done. All right, we're good. I'm going to pull it slightly more because of the fact that the melee DPS is basically having to stand in the fire right now because those doom fires did not go down at the correct speed. But that's all good. It works out. Make sure you stand in Healy circles in World of Warcraft. That's also crucial, especially if you're the tank. Shackled Torments. I think Shackled Torments, I've never, honestly, I don't do this fight a lot as DPS or as heals, so I never remember. But it's basically you pull them apart, and as you pull them apart, it deals damage, the rate. And everyone is taking damage constantly when they're shackled, tormented. Which means they have to pull. And if they don't, um, um, tank, taunt, XD. Sometimes you should mix up your, um, LOLs with an XD. This lets people know that you're not just also being friendly, but still trying to tell them to do their job. But you're also creative, because you can come up with more things to say than just LOL. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, got externals up on the tank. That's also crucial to be putting externals on your tank when your tank cannot protect himself, apparently. Uh, he's, he's all up, though. It's good. <laughs> this is the messiest kill ever. But this is amazing. Um, Deathbrand coming out. I'm going to go ahead and taunt and switch over with a lovely legendary ring burst damage. I'm going to actually purposely burst down the death caller using legendary ring because I'm a little bit worried about my other tank here and I want to make sure that during this transition he's completely fine. So we've broken that down here. Allure Flames comes out. You bring him around. Back to the other side. A lot of people call this the quote-unquote ping pong method for this fight. Here's Shackled Torments again. And again how that works is basically people pull them apart. Um, it's fun. It's fun stuff. You pull them apart, it deals massive damage to the entire raid when they're pulled apart. So some people will pull them apart all at once with everyone using a bunch of damage reductions, or you can pull them incrementally and reheal basically as you go. Deathbrand again. Hopefully tank taunts. He's not taunting. You really have to taunt. Haha. -ha. Say haha. -ha. It, it it also helps as a as a LOL alternative. Um okay. So, we now have banishes, spot buffs, if you can, exclamation point. Another banish is out, I taunt. Other tank is going to apparently follow the boss, because he doesn't actually know what he's doing. Uh, I'm going to pull away from the other tank, 
All DPS have just gone to the Banish. The good news is that because I died, previously I was going to be the first Banish. When you're the first Banish, there's usually usually three Banishes, and this results then in the um, last Banish often being the Sacrifice group, quote-unquote, or the Sac group. This means that group is probably going to die. So on my end, because I am not in the Sac group, this means that I, being a little bit of the more uh, bulky tank here, will be in the fight for longer, which is better for the raid overall. Um, and that's, that's a very good thing, actually. So this works out quite nicely for our raid. Infernals are going to be coming out during the, um, I believe, reign of our second tank, however. The other tank coming back when, once he's back from his banish. So we'll have to see how he does with Vols, as um, the Infernals are probably the number one thing that can actually wipe a fight on this. Um, these are doing a lot of damage. We very badly need to get rid of this. I'm going to move over here, and I'm not moving anymore. Get in. Not. Okay. Uh, I don't know if anyone got in or if I, I moved too far. No, people did get in. Okay, we're good. I am legendary ringing. We're going to just burst the heck of this down really hard here. Burst, burst, burst. I don't even want a chance for one of those shadow void stars to come out and hit me because I've, I've died to that way too many times from people who don't, uh, don't kill them properly. So, we're bursting this down. Uh, good, someone actually interrupted that. That's good. We're pretty organized here, actually, now. This is much more organized than I thought it was going to be in the last phase, given the fact that this was not organized in the earlier phases. So, we're back out. Uh, if everything goes as according to plan, basically, we're gonna have another Banish come out on the other tank. He's going to disappear. I'm going to take the boss. And at that point, whoa, he's about to die. Save him. Keep him up. Keep him up. <laughs> Use my, uh, uh, safeguard there. That saved him. Uh, Banish just got up, so I then grab this. I'm also going to grab one of these Infernals here. The Infernal is down. I need to grab one of the other Infernals. No, someone's kiting. Someone's kiting. Okay, now we just stay up, and the fight is over, is how this is going to work out very nicely. I'm going to throw up a couple cooldowns just for the heck of it, because why not? And we're all good. Were this heroic, you'd have to tank the boss considerably away from those little pools that kept spawning, the green scary pools. 